thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Ray Monica. My name's Christine. Uh, we are Transfer Out Coaches. I'm the founder of a, a coaching company that specifically was built off of the desire to help people with PNES. And as I discovered, my PNES was caused by trauma. Now, some people have medical trauma, some people have physical trauma, some people have psychological, sexual, there's so many variations of trauma. And just so we're all on the same page, trauma doesn't mean that you've gone through some horrendous events. Now, maybe you have, but it doesn't mean that it, that has to be what your trauma is. Some people's trauma is indirect trauma, which means that they haven't received what it is that they need. So, Ramonica, thank you so much for coming on again. I'm so blessed to have you here. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, uh, first of all, introduce you to everybody <laughs> as one of our Transfer Out coaches. And um, tell us a little bit how that came about. Well, yes, how did that start? So I actually, I think I actually found you on Facebook. Um, so how it all started was I was kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I needed a new way to deal with different memory and anxiety that were starting to come up that I didn't really realize I had. Mm -hmm. um, like you were saying, the trauma. Um, like, so it wasn't like a, you know, some of them wasn't like really big. It would have been like some, like when I was made fun of, like I didn't realize it hurt me as much as it did. Mm -hmm. So it kind of started from me just wanting to get free um and start to like really live and understand me and know me and love me for me and not you know trying to live up to somebody else's standard um so that's how it all started for me and like the first session it was like a spiritual break it was a mental break it was like everything and I was just like this was just from one session and at that time I had been dealing with seizures for about seven years wow. and I didn't realize that just talking and just really going back into those painful times was actually the key to me you know mm -hmm. breaking free yeah. and learning how to really process my emotions instead yeah. of suppress them. I'm so um, glad that you said that about processing because the thing is we don't just go back trauma coaching is not about going back to the memory just to revisit it it's very specifically for purpose. It's to leave that memory kind of deactivated. You know, we want to de-trigger that memory. So, I mean, that's in coaching, it's, it's just, mm -hmm. but you skipped a part. We actually didn't just start coaching right away. You joined our group. Yeah, oh yes, I did forget about that. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. I started with the group coaching. <clears throat> yeah. And I was really nervous actually because I was just like, all of these people have the same diagnosis as me. Because at this yeah. time, I thought I was literally the only one. Mm -hmm. um, because even when I first got diagnosed, maybe uh, 2013, some of the doctors didn't even know what my diagnosis was. They would literally go look it up to see what to do. Um, <clears throat> so that kind of led to a whole nother story. Mm, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so I did start with the group coaching and just bringing hope that I wasn't the only one. And then hearing your story of how you at the time were like five years seizure free. I was like, okay, I can do this. This can happen. This is real. <laughs> So it gave me that jolt of fighting back that I needed mm -hmm. uh, just to be around people who could understand yeah. um, the pains and the actual emotions that I was mm -hmm. feeling. So, mm -hmm. and then um, I think, yeah, I started working again. And so I was missing the meeting. So I was like, well, do you do like one-on-one -on -one coaching? And that's how we got to the one-on-one -on -one yeah. coaching. Yeah, yeah. And I fell in love. I was like, I want to give this to other people, not mm -hmm. even if they have um, this diagnosis of uh, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, but anybody who wants to really elevate their mind, elevate mm -hmm. their body, this is this is what it's, it's about going back into, it's really going within. 
so that you can, you know, free yourself and go forward into the life that was predestined for you. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yes, I love that. I love that story because when we were in the middle of coaching, there was at one point I was like, I feel like I'm training now. <laughs> it was right. so awesome. It's like you were like, this is a little different, so we're just gonna go with the flow. Yeah, we're just it gonna go different. with this. Yeah, <laughs> and then we made our plan to move into, you know, a you know a coaching to be a coach <laughs> yes. role and it's fantastic because it's grown since then we have in total we have either five active counselors or counselors in training which is fantastic and yes. what I love about what it is is that every single one of you have had trauma and are overcomers in a lot of the videos that I <clears throat> I do I talk about you have to get in in a crowd of overcomers you have to be mm. surrounded even if there's just one and there are a lot of, of free, um, whether it's, you know, for codependency, whether it's for substance abuse, whether it's for trauma, whether it is um, for suicide support, whatever it is, all people in support groups, you know, in the group atmosphere, they all have one thing in common. Generally speaking, they want to overcome. They don't want to stay in where the stage that they're in. Mm -hmm. So every single one of the people who are on uh, on staff are people who know how to overcome because they have their own personal journey of overcoming. So what's your favorite part? I know you've, it's only been a few months since you've been coaching, but um, tell me what your favorite part is. I believe that my favorite part is that every session is different. Like, you mm -hmm. know, I may have like my plan of, you know, how I think it should go. And then, you know, we do our, you know, normal check-in. How was your week? Is there anything you want to talk about? And it it will totally shift. So mm -hmm. it has actually helped me to learn to get out of my comfort zone of, uh, like, you know, staying in that yeah. lane. And yeah. then just really allowing God to come through in the mm -hmm. session and kind of just take over and lead me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So with that being said, I believe my favorite part may be the fact that my client at the time, um, she says I give her hope. Uh, and I'm just like, I literally been praying. Like, that's what I want because I felt like I didn't have that during those seven years before I kind of mm. really met you. I didn't have that. So I was like, if I can give hope to people, hope is what got me to fight again. And her saying that it was just like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I want to give hope. Mm -hmm. And then I want to have like, not just to give it through a, um, coaching in my story, but to give strategy on how to get to your abundant life. Like, yeah. so that is, yeah. that gives me so much joy. So that like is. every session is different. So it pushes me out of my comfort zone and just to give hope oh again. Um, yeah. I love that because we are, we are maybe some of the times we're the teachers, but we're always the students. We're always yes. looking to learn and grow ourselves. And I'm glad that you brought up, Veronica and I are both believers and we help people who have faith, who have little faith, who have damaged past my, my story. And I don't, I think Veronica is a little bit is that we were very hurt um, in that environment. And, but we've made a, a relationship with, with God, but there's no requirements to coach with right. us. And we do not force anything because gratefully the tools that we use are available for people of faith and of no faith at all. Right. And it's not, you don't have to conform and become like us in order to get right. the benefit, to see the benefit yeah. in your own life. It's fantastic. So I, that was one yeah. big, amazing thing for me. And, and I, I just, my favorite thing about coaching is actually the same thing. It's people <laughs> saying that, you know, I have hope for one, you know, and however, maybe never, maybe never I had hope. And mm -hmm. I remember that's, that's what I felt was robbed of me when I mm -hmm. received my diagnosis because of yeah. how it was given to me. I was told there's no treatment. Well, that's not true. There's no recovery. Well, that's not true. I'm coming up on in July. So in a little over a month, I will be six years seizure free. So, you know, and it, it's just the beginning of a very long journey. And yeah. 
there is hope. So for mm -hmm. anybody who's watching, who is connected to the medical community, who sees a neurologist, please share this, please share. I mean, and I'm not the only story or Monica, I, I see on different um, support groups on Facebook, people who are celebrating one year, six years, five years, yeah. whatever period of time, but that's what needs to be talked about. You can't give hope that somebody, that an individual can overcome, but you can say that there's hope out there. So yes. if you are a part of the medical community, if you are part of the psychological or a psychiatric community, or even a fellow coach, please know the power of hope. Again, you are not giving them hope. You're just saying hope is available. So, Monica, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for, for joining us again. And I just, I'm, I'm so honored and I just, I feel so honored to be able to walk alongside of you and, and see your journey and just call you my friend. Yes. So yes. we're gonna close Thank for you. now. If you have found this helpful, now this is not a plug, this is just an introduction, but if you need one, either a free support group for people with PNES, please reach out Christine at transferoutpnes.com. It's a free online support group for those who are on their journey, for those who need hope and some tools to help overcome. If you do want coaching, feel free to reach out for it at that same email for that as well. And Ray Monica is Ray Monica at transfer out coaching or transfer out PNES.com. Take care, be well. If this was helpful, please share it with somebody. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you want more information on our journeys, on how we're helping people out in the community, on free resources, please subscribe. And until the next time, take care and be well.